Next time you update Logic X, please do it this way. Uh, I've learned the hard way. Uh, this is the smart way of updating. So when App Store says there's a new update, don't press update just yet. Uh, go to your finder to your programs and you find Logic X and you right click it and you compress Logic Pro X. And what happens is you get a new version of Logic that is zipped that you can always go back to if new update doesn't work. So if that worked, I could just go back and find this working version. Uh, and for me, it was a bit of a crisis because I, the day after I did the update, I had recording sessions in my studio and it all was a mess. You just right click, make a sip and install the new version and just try it out. If it works, you're fine. If it does work, you're also fine because you have this. So this is my way of doing it. So I hope this trick was helpful, it sure was for me. Uh, I'm gonna do this every single time there's a new update in Logic X. So, I see you, take care.